Hello, everybody. Sorry about that. I hope everyone is doing fantastic today. Today's Thursday. Welcome to Level Up Circle TV. I wanted to let you guys know that we just added LG and Samsung for our distribution in our TV network. And I just saw my... Um, dashboard analytics for the TV show. Remember, TV shows are Thursdays and Sundays. And then Wednesday is simply a live stream. And that live stream goes to Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. And Thursday and Sunday has more reach on the TV because that's solely for TV. And I'm so excited that we're reaching the same similar demographics, which I love consistency. And I'm also keeping, you know, the 2000 hours or more and more impressions uh, for February. So I cannot wait to see the March uh, statistics or analytics. And you're probably wondering, why do you we care? Well, if you are a business owner or if you're an entrepreneur or a founder, you want to know how you can reach more people. Level Up Academy is all about brand awareness. And if you don't know what brand awareness is all about, we are not a lead magnet, meaning we don't just convert you and give you your KPIs right there in front of you. What we do is we could convert you. We could give you a KPI if we were doing your social media management. But for the TV show, these are brand awareness, right? That means that people will know who you are and you can possibly build your next clientele depending on your own generation of lead magnets and we can talk about that and you can check me out i know i know my calendar is not open until august uh, everyone if you are on my calendar do not cancel <laughs> you could be looking at talking to me in august or september so make sure you keep your appointment but today I have two amazing human beings, okay? And I mean amazing. I know I always say that every show, right? It's because they are. We are doing the same thing, but we're not, right? If you look at this 26 different souls right here in front of you right now, you are going to be so amazed by their story. Most anthology that you'll belong, once the book is done, you're done. For our anthology at Level Up Academy, we keep them going because there's 8 billion people out there, right? So what do we do? We make sure that we keep our brand awareness of who each and every single person on this anthology. We also have an anthology coming up, by the way, by May 1st. And that one, is, the theme is Moving Beyond boxes. If you're not on my TikTok, I'm going to be talking about that. I'm going to be posting um, a video about what does it mean? A lot of people are asking me lately, what do you mean by moving boxes? Like, how do I write those things? And what are some parts that in my life that I could write about? I'm so excited to, to think about that. Well, yes, when you're writing about moving beyond boxes, it just means our society put us on a box, right? You have to have a bachelor's degree. You have to have a master's degree to do this. You have to have this types of skills to do this. You have to do this. Yes, I understand it's necessary, but we're more than just within the box. What really becomes a problem within that box is if you set your mind, you're not good enough, that you can't do it. You don't have the courage to write. What gives, right? Who gives you the right to actually write? You're not a writer. But who's telling you that? Is it you or is it society? And you're putting it and imposing a governor on your possibilities. My job is to percolate that, right, in your mind that anything and everything is possible if you believe in yourself. But courage is first, right? So May 1st is our next anthology. And of course, I'm going to show you that this is our mission. I wanted to make sure that you guys know that our mission is to level up the world through education. And education doesn't necessarily mean formal. It could be informal. Getting to know our authors today and their 
deepest inner more secret on what they talk about on their chapter is going to be fun to see we do have our sunday show and sunday show for me it's more of a lecture uh from me in terms of giving you information and value on the topics that i talk to my students at the university level um, and then of course we are going to have entrepreneurship business spirituality trends in technology arts uh, that doesn't mean just drawing or painting that could be meaning makeup that could meaning clothes that could be martial arts right and so much more and speaking of martial arts we have Harsha today. So guess what that means? We can talk about his amazing things that he is doing. Welcome, guys. Happy Thursday to everybody. So first things first, I wanted to say hello to my dear sister, Susanna, and of course, my dear sister, Danielle. My other sister is already here, so we can talk about that in a minute. But I also wanted to do a shout out to Sindal over there and all of the amazing people who's in the, oh, you can't see it, on this magazine. I know, it's like, what is going on? Look, guys, I have a physical magazine. I'm so, like, I did not know magazines are so expensive to print. So now I'm trying to find a printing people to get our magazine out because it's only once every quarter, right? And if you wanted to be in the magazine for Level Up magazine, it's going to be on uh, June. So we're taking up information now. The theme for our June is really all about not just business leadership, right? But the top community leaders on LinkedIn. That's going to be the theme for June, right? It's going to be the top okay write this down guys top community business leaders on linkedin and that is the magazine's theme for june and we're gonna talk about soft skills i already have all my questioners up we're gonna talk about soft skills we're gonna talk about branding we're gonna talk about sales and personal branding uh we're also gonna talk about entrepreneurship so i'm looking for those people who are the top LinkedIn, right? Uh, community leader. Yes, there is a fee for the magazine because we do have to write it. Um, and uh, if you are in the US, I might be able to gift whoever is on the magazine a physical copy as well um, as part of your bundle. But the reason I do that, it's because you need to create legacies. A hundred years from now, no one will remember who you are, not even your lineage, not even your great, 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 great grandkids, right? And we want to provide at Level Up Academy that legacy for you. That's why we do anthologies. That's why we do magazines. I also have access to premium magazines, over a hundred of them. So if you want to be an entrepreneurs or Forbes or CEO or LA Weekly or you know New York Weekly, I have access to those as well. So just let me know where you want to show up. Um, I wanted to share before I bring them up in here. Let's see if I can share. Uh, hmm, I want to share Susanna's um, website and about the anthology. Let me take a look in here. And then I also wanted to share what we offer in level up we're gonna have um courses soon i'm working on putting courses uh the great discovery and i'm also working on courses through level up academy and you're probably wondering what's the difference it's a shorter version of the great discovery or the academy level so we have classes from maybe a hundred bucks all the way to forty thousand dollars um it just depends on what part of journey you are in and um, where you want to take yourself and your business in terms of leveling it up, okay? So let me go ahead and share. Let's see if I can share, actually. Um, window. Can you guys see Susanna's website? 
let's see oh it's too small let's do it this way there you go um so this is the susanna's website right now and um what the anthology is all about and it's about move beyond boxes the journey to self discovery uh you can get into this we do have scholarships so my giveaways is going to start this sunday whoever's going to show up this sunday i do giveaways uh, make sure you are active on that YouTube, right? Sometimes I do Sunday, sometimes I do Thursday. But more likely, I'm going to be doing th this Sunday. So if you want to in on writing, ask your friends to be writing with you. If you come in with four friends, you can get in for free. If you uh, come in on my TV show on Sunday and comment, subscribe on our YouTube channel, then I can also um, do the giveaway at the very end. It just pretty much um, randomly selects it for you, okay? And it, it, it's the same type of anthology. What we're doing is we're doing TV shows on it, and then it's also 3,000 words, okay? So that is what Susanna's uh, information is going to be. She's the lead on this one. I cannot wait for her. And, um, of course, I'm always backing it up because we are doing it together. Now, in terms of Level Up Academy, um, let me see if I can show you. This is our services that we offer. Um, if you wanted to be on my calendar, you can click on that. And then of course, we do a platinum publicity for you. And it's three month strategy. You can amplify your message. We get free, we give you a free assessment, the before and after snapshot. Um, usually we like to work with you on the LinkedIn profile. Um, and because of the fact that that is a professional platform, and then part of your publicity efforts is I can get you to MP3. And MP3 now also goes to YouTube plus all the RSS and plus Apple, Spotify, iHeart, you name it. And um, a couple of websites that it belongs to and it's housed. And then of course you get TV show once per month for three months. You also get to be on the radio show two times for the next three months. Radio show is not, it's on top of the MP3. Radio is the block 105 and it's every other Saturday. Um, and you automatically get into the magazine level up circle. And then I can also provide um, one or two magazine with a discounted rate on the premium coverage, just depending on what you're trying to do. And then of course, our TV show is always the 45 minutes. We end at 8.52. Um, the magazine, the Black 105, we're going to have online courses soon on The Great Discovery. And so that's what we offer for you. Thank you guys so much for paying attention to that. Are you guys ready for my <gasps> guest? Let's bring them up. Let's bring my sister from another mister. Hello, beautiful sister. How are you doing? You are muted, by the way. Hello, can you hear me okay? Yes, perfect. <laughs> love you, love you, sis, and everyone who's here joining us. You know, it's an amazing journey. And to be able to really, you know, we are blessed to be a part of this Level Up Academy, not only the publishing, the anthology Beyond Boundaries with Dr. Constant Leland, right? And this is... Um, truly truly a blessing and an opportunity if you really say yes to yourself so you need to really follow through and listen to dr oh this way <laughs> constantly <laughs> right oh, right here and you know it's uh, an amazing things and uh, when we say we're gonna do it we're gonna push through in all obstacle and all challenges life business all of it we embrace it and we bring it all full force so so wonderful i'm so <laughs> glad to have you on the team let's bring up harsha <laughs> so we can have Ooh. all the conversation <sighs> harsha is this your first time on our tv you you i've already done you on the wednesday but this is your first time on our tv show right it is it's the first time i'm on television with you so <laughs> awesome and i'll send you the link of like how to download it how to be on tv if you have roku channel and apple tv i've already seen it on apple uh, the thing with this is because it's hd 
So I'm like, oh gosh, I tried not to have like the cracks because when you're on 85 inch TV, you see everything. And I was like, oh, oh. Um, but welcome. And I'm so glad that you guys are here. Um, first of all, let's go ahead and introduce you since this is your first time to be with us on TV show. Um, let us know a little bit about who is Harsha and what do you do? Thank you, uh, Dr. Leland. Um, uh, I'm Harsha Dandamudi. Uh, I'm a San Diego regular. I've, I've been here for about 23 years of my life. Uh, trained martial artist by trade. I'm a ninth generation Sifu in the um, Shaolin Kung Fu and Yang Tai Chi arts. Um, and what I do is a lot of fitness wellness coaching now, uh, performance coaching mostly. I try to take uh, an individual who's got a goal and uh, try to bring out those superhuman abilities so you can maximize your, uh, your efforts and your results. That's, that's generally what I do. That's so amazing. And it's funny because I'm also in San Diego, but I've never met you in person. So June 15th, <laughs> yes. hopefully, is our first time yes. for book signing. Um, so welcome. And then, of Thank course, you. sister is a regular here. So no need for introduction, but this is what I want to do. I want to dive in right away on when I was editing and looking at all of you guys' submission, what I did is actually I... Um, created a summary um, after your final edits and I created it fresh from after I read. So I'm going to read uh, a summary of what I think, don't judge me, <laughs> on what I think your story encapsulated as a summary. So this is what I said, okay? So I'm gonna start with Harsha. I said, the flow of transformation by Harsha Dandamudi is a compelling narrative that chronicles the author's journey from a troubled childhood marked by abuse and self-doubt in San Diego to becoming a renowned martial arts instructor, health and fitness coach, and motivational figure. Overcoming his physical limitations and the shadows of a violent father, Harsha found solace and strength in martial arts under the mentorship of Master Ming Lao at the White Dragon Martial Arts School. This transformative experience led him to compete nationally and internationally, achieving notable successes. Now, despite a promising foray into national politics, including working for Senators Hillary Radom Clinton and Barbara Boxer, Harsha realized his true passion lay in promoting physical and mental well-being. This revelation led him to forgo law school and instead pursue a career in health, fitness, and wellness, founding the innovative UFLOW fitness program. Now, UFLOW is designed to unlock the flow state, facilitating optimal performance and mindfulness through a unique combination of martial arts, fitness, and mental well being techniques. Now, throughout his career, Harsha has impacted thousands teaching nearly 7,500 students and working with over 200 trainers worldwide. Now, Harsha's approach integrates internal training methods with external neuromuscular integration, helping individuals like you and I achieve peak performance levels. Now, his work has not only transformed lives on a personal level, but also demonstrated significant benefits in professional sports as evidenced by his training partnership with the former NFL star Quinn Early. Now, Harsha's dedication to empowering others extends beyond his professional achievements, grounded in deep commitment to positivity impacting lives through martial arts, fitness, and wellness. His story is a testament to the power of resilience determination and belief that anything is possible with unwavering determination and courage. Harsha dedicated this book to his mother, whose endless support and love have been his guiding light throughout in his life's journey. What do you think, Harsha? Wow, that was incredible. Thank you so much for that. You, uh, you should have written my chapter instead of me, I think, <laughs> Dr. Leland. <laughs> Um, no, that, that was very, very accurate. Um, 
Just a quick note, uh, Quinn Early and I come from the same organization, White Dragon Martial Arts. Um, his teacher also happens to be the founder of White Dragon Schools, who is also one of my mentors, Master Nathan Fisher. He founded the, uh, the organization in 1985. So big shout out to him. Um, I am the man that I am because of him today. And so is Quinn Early. A, a lot of his success in professional football in the NFL is because of his training under the tutelage of Master Nathan Fisher. And a lot of my success comes from him as well as well as my own teacher, Master Ming Lao. Um, but that's really what it's about. It's, it's about empowerment. Um, it's about taking obstacles that you may encounter, even the worst of them, and finding a positive approach to, to empowering yourself and, and developing success over time. Just consistency, training, discipline. Uh, those are a lot of the core values that really uh, really helped me succeed. And those are the things that I want to, to pass along to the next generation of people. So thank you so much for that introduction. Yeah. And thank you for for the compliment, but I have a knack for reading and summarizing people's things. And that's why I love writing, um, because it enables me to see people sometimes when you're writing, you don't really think about yourself like that, right? Like you're just writing for the sake of writing because you want to put it out. Um, but when someone else sees you differently, but accurately, it's amazing when someone does that um, to you because someone did that to me for me. And yeah, I got emotional about that. <laughs> Brother Oli is here and Sister Susana, thank you guys so much. Good morning. And so now um, my sister from another mister. This is my um, summary. Um, for your chapter, I said, from adversity to empowerment, a journey of resilience and purpose by my sister, Dr. Neutrung, is an inspiring memoir that traces the author's journey from facing adversity as an immigrant child in the U.S. to becoming one of the top 50 pharmacy leaders. Dr. Trung's life story is marked by significant challenges, including societal discrimination, personal loss, and navigating the complexities of the healthcare profession. Despite this hurdle, she discovers her purpose in healthcare, driven by a profound desire to provide better care for her loved ones and make a positive impact in the world. My sister Trung's narrative extends beyond personal achievements, emphasizing compassion, kindness and the importance of treating each individual with respect now her experiences during a hostage situation underscore her belief in empathy and forgiveness even in the most dire circumstances this belief is a constant thread throughout her life influencing her approach to healthcare, leadership and advocacy for a more compassionate society Dr. Trong's story is a testament to the power of resilience and purpose. It encouraged us, the readers, the people, to embrace our struggles as opportunities for growth and to make a positive difference in the lives of others. Through her holistic approach for, to healthcare, mindfulness, and leadership, my sister inspires others to pursue their dreams, support one, one another, and create a more compassionate world. This hopefully encapsulated what Dr. Trong's journey and her heart from adversity to empowerment, highlighting her achievements, her challenges, and the profound impact she aims to have on others and the healthcare industry. What do you think, sister? I'm trying to hold my tears. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Um, thank you so much. Um, not only for your feedback, CJ, and it's an honor and a blessing. Again, it's, I don't know how much of gratitude can we really express, but it's the, not only the words, but also sincerely heart and soul. And it's what I do every day, right? It's what I strive and that's what gets me up every day, right? No matter what pains, whatever going through our storm in life, what are we here for? And that's the purpose is if we're able to give hope and compassionate for one life, that, that we are able to change and give people hope to know that 
during the darkness, there are lights. There are people that have been there along the way like you that have overcome and can also, if you reflect from those dark moments, it can propel you to even more further success, but it's not about just your success. It's so that way you can lead and guide others, right? That is the whole point is when life knocks you down, you rise even stronger because you have the power to shape your destiny. And it has to start with us, with our minds. And, you know, because if our mind are not strong enough to endure anything, then our body, physical body say, I'm just going to give up. But you cannot give up. You have a life, a precious life. We are meant here for a purpose. And each individual is a gem. And, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm going to be on a broken record, but it sincerely is my heart. And so for those who have crossed our path, you know, to join us and to even listen to a little bit of Dr. Constantine with the level up and all that we do and all this amazing leaders like Harsha here, it's really, even if you're not ready, just, just tune in and listen, right? And, and maybe that little droplet of water that are dripping can be something that you awake and you realize, oh, that's what Harsha's meant. This is what, you know, Dr. New meant or Dr. Constant Leland meant or Susanna or, um, you know, Danielle or other amazing leaders that are heart center telling us because we're not ready for it. But when it's ready, know that it's going to be a blossom. It's going to be beautiful that know that you have the power to change your own lives and others by lifting those around you. So love it. Love it, sis. Thank love you. you all. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. <laughs> and, and that's the reason why I love writing for other people, because sometimes you don't see yourself that way. And it's really amazing when you see people write about you and, um, and how they see you from their own perspective. And I love that. And Harsha, I promised my brother Timothy in Australia. I put it on TikTok. I think it was on TikTok or Instagram. I'm like, we're going to talk about how you to lose weight. And, you, and he's like, well, how? how? And I was like, you got to tune in tomorrow. But it's like 4 a.m. in Australia right now. He said, sister, it's Team Replay. You better talk about it. And I'm like, I'm going to have Harsha say it. So Harsha, the floor is yours. How do we lose weight? What you told me the very first conversation. Um, it's a uh, little more than what people generally think, but it's a lot simpler than people realize. So um, there are a few things that are important when it comes to just being healthy in general, right? You want to, lo losing weight is, is really not necessarily the, the right term. It's about a healthy weight um, that, that is, uh, is good for your overall physical and, and mental health. Um, so the first thing I tell everybody is uh, your diet is extremely important. And when I say that, they immediately think, well, it's what I'm eating and it's what I'm drinking. And that's only a part of it. Your diet is not just the food that you eat and whatever, whatever you drink. It's not what you're ingesting um, orally. It's, uh, it's also, you know, what you read, what you watch on the television, who you're interacting with what kind of positivity or negativity exists in your environment. All of that affects your physiology, it affects your DNA. Um, so I, I try to tell people to be in positive environments. Um, and then when it comes to actual, you know, eating and drinking, uh, it's just micro habits, simple things. I, I would never tell anybody and the people that I coach and the clients that I have, I don't tell them to, to make drastic changes all at once because that just simply doesn't work. It's just simple things, you know? Um, so for anybody that wants to get started right away, um, I have two challenges for you and I think it, it'll make a big difference. Um, try to double your water intake, whatever you drink for water every day, just try to double it to begin with. Okay. Hydration is incredibly important. Oh, Dr. Trong. Perfect. Look at that. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, Yes, Dr. Leland too. See, uh, water is, is the universal uh, solvent. It's the universal lubricant. Um, it flushes out the toxins in the system. It's really, really good for the system. We are about 65, 70% water anyway we're made up of. So you want to have a lot of water. I, I try to tell people that are a little more physically active, try to have somewhere between 100 and 128 ounces of water a day if you're like athletic. 
Uh, but for starters, for people that generally don't have the habit of drinking water, just double your intake. So if you drink one glass of water, do two. If you do two, drink four, so on and so forth. Um, and then the other challenge I have for you is, uh, this might, might seem a little bit weird, but I, I try to tell everyone, have a cup of blue, one cup, one cup of blueberries a day. Highly, it's a superfood. It's a super fruit uh, filled with antioxidants. Really, really good for the system. It helps with the metabolism. It helps you with your focus. It helps you actually energize. So you can add it into whatever you want your your salads, your your oatmeal, or just eat them by themselves. Those are generally the two things I, I start people off with, and then we just make micro tweaks week to week. And before you know it, you're getting healthy habits, but you don't feel like you're drastically changing your life around. You don't even notice the differences over time. So. Getting healthy is about doing little things a little bit at a time each and every day consistently. And uh, you'll start to see results actually within a few weeks. So, yeah. Thank you, Harsha. I literally, okay. So Sana and I, I told Sana, I'm like, sister, we need to drink more water. I guess less <laughs> coffee. This is torture. So for like two months or a month, we would text each other in the morning at 7 a.m. Did you drink your water yet? Do not drink coffee. And I'm like, oh, no, Harsha, I hate you. Like, literally, I was <laughs> cursing your name in the morning. But I drink water in the morning, and I do feel more energy drinking water. I literally, I suck at drinking water. I used to tell my doctor, um, does coffee uh, count? It has water. Um, how about tea? Tea works, right? It has water. He's like, no, you have nothing in it. That's water. I'm like, but it's made up of water. And he's like, CJ, stop. I'm like, oh, okay, fine. So then when you said that, and I'm like, yeah, I got to loosen up my burrito rolls. I'm going to have to uh, drink some more water. And every time for the last like month after we talked, I was cursing your name in the morning. So you were probably like sneezing and I'm like, oh God, I hate you, Harsha. <laughs> and I was drinking water and then, but then I told all my students, I'm like, guys, guys, it's working because I did see that we are made of water, right? So when I drink more water, but here's the problem. I already have issues going to the bathroom after my children. So uh, drinking water while teaching a class, mm, not so good because I'm like, guys, take a break. They're like, Dr. Leland, why are you taking a break a lot? I'm like, don't ask questions. Take a break. <laughs> I had to go to the bathroom. I was like, oh, my God. But it works. Water, drinking water does work. Um, I did lose weight. And, of course, I have to watch what I'm eating. But I, I think my next thing is accountability partner. And, oh, this way. See, sis, I, I'm having issues <laughs> waiting for you. I'm like, wait, this way. Oh, see, now you're in this way. <laughs> I'm like, this way. <laughs> um, so, basically, okay, um, Dr. New is going to explain a little bit. And uh, we are doing a challenge right now. And I suck at it right now because I'm so busy. But she's doing a challenge. She's going to explain it. And we're going to start eating healthy, more vegetables, and actually more fruits because we don't. I used to drink about 20 pounds of veggies um, through juicing. And I love kale, but ooh, it's so bitter. Um, so when you juice it, so I put pineapple and apple on it. And it just it's good with that, right? Um, and so now we're doing accountability because I need to be accountable. I need an accountable partner when it comes to those. So Dr. New is going to explain a little bit about how do we do health. And we're talking about health and food, guys. It's because it's part of you. And you can't do anything, okay, not mentally, not physically, if you're not healthy. So we're going to talk about that, right? So Dr. New, what's the accountability? So I'll leave this for you, by the way, brother. <laughs> And this, Ollie, love you, <laughs> and everyone, Susanna, Crystal, and everyone yes. watching right now. And it's, you know, we really, and this is going back to who we are, and I think Harsha also really beautifully stated about how our diet, right? And I was like, yes, brother, keep on elaborating. Because diet, people think of the, just food or drinks, right? But it's everything that we put in our mind and our body. So it's not just in, so what we put in through our eyes and through our ears and through our mouth, right? We have to be mindful and intentions of what 
comes through our body because our whole body that we want to nurture holistic approach where my holistic approach at hat is that we have to really look at as our mind body and soul or spirit right when we want to elevate and want to get to the next level of that subconscious whether it's like what harsha talked about the flow state or when you were really talking about optimizing your physical and well-being right and physical and mind body and soul everything is infused and it start with how we energize uplift our body and the right nutrition right but it has to start with having the right mindset right if your mindset is i'm just gonna stuff whatever five minutes of my meal into that right and it could be little how large but it's the the prepping meaning you have to be intention of i'm grateful for my meals and so and then you imagine this drinks is a blessing it's like a really powerful drink but if you give gratitude and prayers and think about it it becomes really powerful source of energy but also a blessing whether you believe it or not you drink it is different but if you just think of this is an ordinary water right your saliva whatever that's secreting in your mouth is different so mentally but also physiological your body changes when you really act upon prepping with gratitude and 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 really envisioning that you're having this wonderful awesome meal right whatever your favorite is imagine that as your meal your mouth starting to drool, you know, like if you like sour, or sweet or chocolate, whatever your, your favorite thing is, imagine that. Gratitude go in, you're gonna see your body metabolism increase. And this is studies, okay? This is when you talk about from a nutritionist, talking perspective on how mindful eating and, and really infusing, like what Harsha brought up is the antioxidant, the fruits and veggie how that will also reverse our aging right so for people who are meat eaters might not be able to cut off and be a vegan or a vegetarian diet right but you can also cut one meal right not cut substitute right alter your meal with um, that are highly in meat and carbs are really uh, hard for you to digest how about switch it to more uh, fruits and veggie right and more of an antioxidant that help you detox your body, but also help you with that clarity, that calm mind. Because in in the world of mental health and how well being, what we put in our body has a lot of effect, right? But in reality, is that we can't all dissect every little thing, the cause, the nutrition, and reading all the label. But making it simple for people to really get easy to implement is what at the end of the day, if you have consistent habit and carry through, that will be in long term, you can see your habit change. But you have to really start with saying, okay, this is my to do of what I need to do. You know, and you have to have a system develop in a way that you remember it become like a habit, you close your eye, like you're driving, you, you know where to go, you don't need a GPS. Same way as how you're mindfully eating and nourishing your body, nourishing your body of what you put in your body, the food, the words that we come listen to our ears and what we listening and, and looking, right? Are we looking at um, things that empower, uplift your hearts and soul that keep you moving energetically and wanting you to inspire to do more greatness or are you going to be lazy and want to just sit and watch a movie, right? Netflix and don't want to do anything. I don't want to do, I don't want to do my work. I don't want to work on my business. I don't want to go out and walk, right? You have to know what those are, but when you mindful and in tune of what your body is telling you, when are you full? When are you hungry? Right? Then you can see how your body will work best if you are in tune. And that in true reality is that no matter what you do, you have to know when are your triggers that you're going to grab the things that you're not supposed to, right? That you're going to go in that crave mode or the activation mode. You have to fill your body with the right foods. And the food is here, it's not just the actual food or the drinks, but everything good for your body and soul. That to me will go further than just saying, you need to follow, count the calories, right? You need to do this and this and this. That's not what we I we're can't do calories. <laughs> I, I can't do it. I, I try the keto, the all the, I'm like, no, I can't do it. It's just not possible. 
Right. Um, and so, yeah, I, I agree with you, sister, when it comes to like mindful e eating, I need to be mindful eating. I love certain foods, but I've been trying to do more veggies lately. Um, I do like meat once a week. Um, I will get my carne asada bonito. I live in San Diego. Hello. Um, I went to the East Coast. I went to the, you know, Northern California. They don't got it. Nothing like that. Southern California, we love our Mexican food. I'm sorry. <laughs> like we do. Um, but I do want to go back to our book and I want to go back to Harsha. I want to ask you like two questions. Okay. Yeah. The first thing is what inspired you to write this part of your life? This is a, a, a small portion of your life. What inspired you to say, you know, I'm going to write about this portion of my life. And then the second question is, how do you hope your book impacts the reader? Thank you for those questions. Both are incredible. Um, to answer your first question, I think what I wanted to focus on was the most major crossroad I had ever encountered. Um, so uh, it was important, uh, I think, for the reader, at least from my mentality, it was important. I wanted the reader to understand um, I was, I was just an ordinary individual with struggles that people have these struggles all the time. I'm, I'm one out of a billion people, billions of people that have these, these same types of struggles or similar struggles. Everyone has struggles. And I think we just don't understand. We don't have that perspective unless it's given to us. So um, while it is uh, emotionally taxing sometimes to, to talk about these things, I think when it comes to the flow of transformation, which is the, the title of my chapter, um, it was a very important part of how I was able to make the decisions that I made and transform into the human being that I am today. So knowing where I came from, what I went through, and then the decisions I had to make and how it helped transform me, I think were all very, very important. And uh, to answer the second question, which kind of is, leads off of the, the first question, I'm hoping it inspires people to do the same thing. You know, uh, the hardest thing to do sometimes is make a decision that uh, people don't understand. Um, I had a political career all set and ready to go. I was supposed to get ready to go to law school. I was there a lot was, you know, um, which was the expectation of my, my family, my mother in particular, um, to take a hard left turn and say, you know what, I'm not going to do this thing that, you know, we all expected and that I had said I was going to do. And instead, I'm going to dedicate myself to martial arts and fitness and wellness. And I want to, you know, become a sifu of a very traditional organization something that's very challenging to do um highly unexpected uh, it's not something that um, my family or even my people are, are used to doing um so that was a that was a difficult uh decision to make and it was very hard for me it was very hard for my family a lot of discussions happened um, but i had to stick with that decision because that's where my passion was that's what i found gave me the most meaning gave me the most purpose and i did i stuck with it um, i found success in it i ran one of the most successful martial arts schools in southern california period um, and the largest in, in san diego county i'm very proud of those uh, accomplishments but they could not have been made possible if I hadn't stuck with my guns and if my teachers didn't believe in me and give me all the support and the resources and the training that, that I needed. So a lot of my success and a lot of my mentality comes from White Dragon, where I essentially started when I was a teenager. I was 19. And uh, so, again, a big shout out to my teacher, Master Ming Lao, and to my mentor, the founder of White Dragon Schools, Master Nathan Fisher. A lot of my core values and the way that I am is, uh, is because of those men and, and the guidance and the mentorship, the, the tutelage that, that I came under. And I'm hoping that inspires people. If you have a dream, if you have a passion, uh, don't ever let anybody tell you not to do it. Um, do it, but do it well also. Don't just have dreams and, and not do anything about it, right? You have to work. I worked relentlessly every single day to prove that I could, I could make this happen. So if you have a dream and you have a passion, go for it. Never, never, um, never hold back on those. But make sure you put every ounce of your being into that project, into that passion to find the kind of success that you want to. Everyone has crossroads that they're going to encounter. Um, Whatever decision you think is best for you is the best decision for you, regardless of what anybody says. And so I wanted to, uh, I wanted to really put something raw and vulnerable into this uh, anthology to really describe the struggle that I went through, but 
also at the end to give people hope and show them that, you know what, amazing things can come out of sticking to your guns and pushing forward with, with that which excites you the most. So. Thank you. Thank you for integrating those two questions into one answer. And I love that. And I love that when we talk about our book and people, you know, with authenticity, someone asked me who was eight years old. She's like, Mrs. Leland, what does often something city? And I was like, okay, why? She goes, uh, I was watching when my mom was watching one of your shows and she heard that and she told my dad to be more authentic something city. And I was like, okay, what does that mean? He goes, well, he does sales and, and I don't understand how sales works, but my mom keeps telling you would have more client and more money. If you're more like what she's talking about being often something city. And I was like, oh, okay. So I had to think, I'm like, okay, how do I say this to an eight year old? Because she's going to go back to her mama and her mom was going to be like, CJ, what the heck did you just say? So I told her being authentic is being yourself, right? When you're trying so hard, people will see that. When you're trying to sell your business in their faith, you don't really mean to help them. They see that, right? We're more transformational than transactional leaders, right? And I attract and I hope I attract people who are more tran transformational than transactional because it's more important to me that you keep coming back rather than just a one-time deal, right? And it, it's not like we're going to be millionaires doing it. It's more of like, really, people put so much emphasis on money because our society push and push and push. You have to have good credit. You have to have good house. You have to have nice car. You have to have children in the private schools. You have to have all these things and vacation and blah, blah, blah. And that's life. But everybody who's doing is miserable. That's not life, right? Or you could just do a virtual background and you're in LA, like, you know what I mean? It's just crazy how people put emphasis on that. And thank you for sharing your life literally to the world, right? And that is, to me, that takes courage and that takes perseverance and really strategy of like, how do I do this and make my business go? Uh, we are towards the end of our show, so I'm gonna, give you the floor and then we're going to close with my sister on if you have anything that you would like for our viewers to see what is Harsha's next move uh great question um you know uh, while white dragon was a very integral part of my uh, my existence and my identity um, i did recently actually take the next step and then move on from there I want to I want to coach people. I want to I want to reach more people. You know, I live in I think one of the greatest counties in America, San Diego County. Um, but the mission is the same for people all over the world. And people need empowerment, people need confidence, people need wellness, they need fitness. And there's a lot that goes into it. Um, if there's some part of you that needs improvement in any way, shape, or form, and that should be true for all of us. We all need some some improvement in some area or areas of our life. Um, there's a way to do it. There's a, there's a way to do it where you enjoy that journey um, and not necessarily focus on just what the results might be, right? It, I want to help people unlock their flow state, finding that immersion into your tasks. Enjoy every single thing that you're doing throughout the day. Feel accomplished. Feel like you've achieved things. Um, so that's that's really what it is. And and it's been working, to be honest. I, I never expected in, on LinkedIn to, to blow up the way I did. A lot of people have been reaching out and, and searching. And um, I work with a lot of clients remotely all over the United States um, and even internationally. Um, so, yeah, I, I want to get the message out. Um, I want to be able to do retreats and seminars and visit people and, and uh, show them that you know, life is a very beautiful thing. It's a positive thing, regardless of the obstacles that get in our way. Focusing on those little obstacles is what we tend to do. But if you stand back and you look at the bigger, bigger picture, there's just an epic thing happening in your life. 
and you can take hold of it. You can grasp it. You can turn it into something incredible. That's all yours. It can become your story, your legacy, like you said, Dr. Leland. Um, we have an opportunity to leave something to the, the future generations that can absolutely make the world a, a better place. So I want to be remembered for that. When I leave this earth, I want to know that I changed or inspired at least one human being and it would have all been worth it. And anybody else that, that follows behind, even better. That's that's the mission. So that's what I hope to do. I support that mission. <laughs> I support that mission. All right, sister, take us out and tell us what's next for you and what you're doing. Um, and then we will be ending. Yeah, so really, you know, of course, so many things, right, <laughs> that's coming up. But me and, you know, Dr. Constant and Leland at the level up, you know, are really striving not only to provide a lot of holistic approach, but on meeting people where they are and less, you know, wherever the gaps are, wherever that you want, make sure that you hone in, whether it's your health, because if you don't have your health, you cannot do anything. So your health is your wealth. So, you know, know that and cherish that and then feel your body what's what's appropriate, mindful, whether living, eating, everything has to be intentions and in tune with what you're doing. And we're going to come out with, you know, of course, you know, eat and share challenge of the wellness, really holistic, really wellness in the next level of mindful body, mind and soul. So that's where we want to take your business, your personal and business to the next level. Of course, with the hounds of business and level, we have so much that stay tuned because our sister here. <laughs> oh, let me see. Here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here, up here. She's going to announce lots of things, the master class challenges. So if you want to know more of what me and, you know, Dr. Constant Leland, our sister is doing, you know, DM one of us. But we are here to help you, to guide you. So that way you don't really want to not only tap out, burn out, especially in a healthcare professional, because we're here to serve and help our patient, our community. And imagine if everybody are tap out, burn out, and don't want to go back in the healthcare, then who's going to be caring, taking care of our older population and ourselves? Who's going to take care of us, right? So please remember to take care of yourself so that way you can also take care of many, many more lives. So I love you all. You know, that's, you know, lots and lots of amazing things. Thank you so much. The Level Up. Yes. yes. Thank you, Harsha. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, everybody, Thank you for being for here. Being here. Um, and I really appreciated your time. Um, this is not your last. You will definitely be here. We will do it throughout the year. That's one thing I love about this anthology is we're going to keep rolling in to the people because it's not a, a sprint. It's a marathon. We are going to keep going to get our messages out there, right? And for my dear sister, Susanna, we need to yes. support and rally her. Her anthology is going to be amazing. It's our anthology. Oh, May, May 1st. So right, May 1st. So my, people. We are, do have limited seats because we don't want to edit everybody's words last minute. So it is stressful, okay? So um, I want to make sure that you guys do know that we love helping new authors. We also love helping authors who are seasoned. Um, and we're going to do something different on this anthology. And um, we'll see. I'm always cooking about something. Uh, it's always something that I'm cooking for uh, brand awareness because I like to innovate. And the, this crazy people said, okay. They don't even question it. They just roll with it uh, because they know that I got their back and I never leave my team behind. It's because it's always together. Collaboration over competition. So I'll see you guys in a breakout room. In Happy a minute, early birthday, right Susanna, now. sis. Ooh, we're going <laughs> to celebrate that. Celebration. <laughs> oh, karaoke, right? We're going to have yeah. to do that. All right. Love you all. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you guys so much for being here. I will see you on Sunday right here on E360 TV. Bye, everybody. See you soon. Love you guys. Thanks for watching Level Up.